That's what it's all about right there, okay? Hey everybody, it's your man Fitman, head performance and physique coach at the Fitman Performance Center. Oh man, I can't get the intro right. Get myself together. Hey everybody, it's your man Fitman head performance and physique coach at the Fitman Performance and Physique Center in Roslyn and pro natural bodybuilder. And today's topic is how bad do you want your goals? I'm out here today. It's January 14th. It is below freezing outside. And what am I doing here in suburban Philly here at Upper Moreland High School on the hill known as the hill the hardest hill in the area what am I doing I am running hill sprints okay I've got goals that I want to accomplish in natural bodybuilding I want to keep moving up the ladder and really maximizing my physique and building on my now pro career and make my pro debut sometime this year but in order to do that I've got to be better than I was last year I can't bring last year's physique that's old news now okay I won the NGA Mr. Natural Philly yeah I won my pro car but guess what that's all old news now nobody cares because the next time I step on stage I've got to be better than I was last time or I'm gonna get blown away There'll be no improvement. There'll be no reason for the judges to, 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 to rate me higher. So I gotta come out here and do the things that have gotten me to the level where I'm at, which is doing the hard stuff that nobody else wants to do. It's a great mental boost of confidence when you're disrobing backstage and after the months of dieting and the months of training, you're looking for some edge and the edge doesn't just come from the dieting, okay? The dieting is hard, right? And there's levels of dieting that people won't be willing to go to to reach their end goal, fine. The harder part though, is the things that most people aren't willing to do training-wise. Like this, hard sessions in the gym, hard sessions outside of, of the gym. Like this, sprinting. How many bodybuilders sprint as a part of their training program very few and you can see the differences on stage especially in the side and the rear poses when the hamstrings and the glutes don't stand out for a lot of natural bodybuilders a lot of cats on stage with flat glutes flat hamstrings no shape no size I recommend sprinting to help build those hamstrings and those glutes Give you a nice round athletic powerful look when you're in that side chest pose or that side triceps pose or even in the in the in the symmetry round in a side pose same thing for 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 uh for figure when you turn to the side and your glutes stand out and your hamstrings stand out the glutes stick out you can build that on the hill okay hill sprints one of the keys to building an athletic physique. But like many things in the game, like barbell hack squats and, 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 and barbell split squats, it's forgotten because it's hard. 
Well, y'all need to start to embrace the hard part of it, right? If you want to really get to where you want to be, you've got to start to embrace hard, okay? Make hard normal, all right? It's cold out here. It's literally freezing out here, but guess what? I'm still out here and I'm getting the job done because I got goals. Remember, your success requires struggle and it's gonna require a consistent quality effort over time in order to reach your goals. It's your man Fit Man. Holla at a trainer when you see me at the center.